Good evening. Well, the signs are there. Michelle Bogue will be a goner. She'll be held accountable for National's cataclysm, in which the National Party lost 12 MPs on Saturday. Michelle Bogue has announced she will not seek re-election as party president next year. Her presidency so far has been colourful, controversial, fractious, disputed, energetic and driven. It may also be short. The party is going to review what happened in this election. This will take four to six weeks. But Bill English, the party leader today, would not express confidence in Michelle Bogue beyond that four to six week period. So will she be casualty number 13? Michelle Bogue is with us live. What are your intentions tonight? My intentions, Paul, are to serve out the full term. Uh, I've had many uh, letters and, and emails and phone calls from party members asking me uh, not to resign. Uh, and I don't intend to. I think it's very important that the party has a strong leader at its organisational helm to carry through at this time. It's likely though, isn't it, that if you continue for the next 12 months, the bickering will go on for 12 months. And this is the party that needs to start rebuilding immediately, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> and we need to get on with that process of review. And it's very important that we have stability during that process. They perceive you as their target, Michelle. There are enemies. They will continue to snipe, won't they? Is that good well, for the party? Uh, they can only <laughs> say, I should resign so many times. The fact is that we are now going to move on through the review process uh, and you know Paul the party decides who is its president and no single member of caucus can disenfranchise the party. Now but one member of caucus today that is to say the leader of the caucus Bill English mm -hmm. didn't he offer you a gracious signal today he refused to express confidence in you beyond the review period isn't that a gracious signal? Look, Bill's got pressures from lots of areas. Uh, he's dealing with those pressures in the way that he sees fit. I've said I have confidence in Bill English. I know that uh, we can continue to work together, and we will. Do you have confidence in him as the next leader? Yes, I'm he is the leader, and I have confidence in him continuing but leader. But see, he does, not, he does not express confidence in you continuing to the end of your period, Well, I have Michelle. confidence in him. Wouldn't a departure at the end of the four to six week period afford everybody dignity? Well, I think you're preempting uh, what that review might say, and we haven't even uh, uh, finalised the details of that process yet. We'll be doing that this week. Who's going to do the review? That will be finalised this week. The MPs or the um, organisation? Oh, everybody will have an opportunity to participate. That's what a review is all about. Uh, we've got plenty of experience of doing this uh, after each election, and we'll work our way through that. You haven't got much experience of dealing with this kind of cataclysm, though. It was a disaster, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Do you bear sole responsibility? I don't think anyone's saying I bear sole responsibility. Clearly, I bear some responsibility. One particular MP said there's only, you know, there's only one problem here and uh, it needs to be addressed by Michelle Bowe's resignation. Well, I think that particular MP is trying to settle an old score uh, for an old battle that was uh, fought and lost by him some time ago, and I'm not interested in debating that. I'm interested in moving on. Do you wish you'd got rid of Morris Williamson? <laughs> It's not my job to get rid of Morris Williamson, no more than it's his job to get rid of me. Are people forgetting their history, Michelle? Are people forgetting their history? I mean, when we look back over the last year, when, when, when Bill English became the leader, when you became the president, nobody, seriously, who'd been in this business for long or had any sense of political history, expected National to be able to defeat Labour at this election. All that was it's... hoped for was that a, a, a defeat would be lessened. That's correct, and of course we went into the election campaign with all the pundits saying that we didn't have a chance, and I think that was part of the problem uh, that uh, really dogged us through the campaign. But the fact is, uh, when I announced I was going to stand for president, a whole lot of people said to me, why are you doing that? They're going to lose. Why not wait until they do? And I said, look, I'm not prepared to sit on the sidelines and wait. I'm not prepared to just wait for something to happen and then pick it up afterwards. Well, yes, I, I got That's in fine. and tried to change it. Yes, at the same time, though, where was the policy? You know, we all could have predicted a snap election was likely mm -hmm. to come. Where was the policy? Mm -hmm. Why was it out so late? John Slater was well, saying this last night. Well, um, that is one of the issues that the, uh, the review clearly will address. Is the leader safe? I think so, yes. What is it about you, Michelle, that puts people's backs up? 
Oh, I, that's a, a great generalisation and in fact, Paul, I have overwhelming support in the party and you recall a year ago when I was elected, uh, I got that overwhelming support. Uh, there are some people who didn't like that. Well, time to move on. Now, but your whole career's got this boil over, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You're going along like the ship of state with respect to you. You're proceeding under full steam. Things are going well, suddenly, bang, there's a boil up. Paul, I've always chosen uh, interesting areas, high profile areas to be involved in. Uh, a, a girlfriend of mine, my hairdresser actually, sums it up well. She says, well, you get that stuff in the big jobs. And if you're going to do the big jobs, then you have to be prepared to take the sort of profile that comes with it. Yeah, but so many people like you very much. But others, I'm, I'm you seem to, to rile. I'm pleased to hear that. No, but well, they do. And others, you seem to rile. Well, I can't answer for them, Paul. Where did you go wrong? I mean, you see, here's another thing. You're the PR queen. You know, you know about communicating to members of the public, and yet your campaign, I can't remember a thing from it, as a matter of fact, in terms of its publicity. We knew we, when, we, when we drove past the roadside hoardings, Labour had the two ticks, the Alliance there was only one step to go to the left or something, mm -hmm. Winston had the three fingers, um, Act, a tax cut for every worker, lock them up mm -hmm. for life and so forth. I cannot remember one national sign. Well, we had many national signs. I know you had uh, many national and, signs. Well, the point I'm trying to make is you, I, I can't, no one I know can remember them. Well... The fact is that all those issues will be addressed in the review and that's what we'll be doing over the next few weeks. But you, you see, are so experienced in your professional life with public relations. It should mm -hmm. be your campaign, it should be your party's messages which mm -hmm. should have been the most vivid, shouldn't they? Well, that's an issue that the campaign uh, review will address. And uh, obviously, I was part of a team. Uh, as I said, we went into the election with no one thinking that we, we could win and all the pundits saying so. Uh, clearly, a lot of the uh, support that was driven away from Labour went to the third parties rather than to us. And that was a function of the campaign, but it was also a function of the expectation that we couldn't win. So to party people, you might expect that Mr English has given you a gracious signal today and you will choose to ignore that signal and proceed as president until the end of your term. What do you say? Well, I don't think most people will interpret it that way. I think most people will expect that we will go through the review, uh, we will do the analysis, uh, we will take uh, submissions from all sorts of people, anyone who's in the party who wants to participate. That's what a review is, and that review shouldn't be preempted. I thank you very much for your time. National Party President uh, Michelle Bogue vowing tonight to continue to the end of her term, which I guess will be next uh, July, July 2003. Next